Okay, hello my lovely friends. Welcome back to my channel. I thought I would do a little get ready with me today. I haven't done one in a while. I have some things for updates of my life, so I thought it's as good a time as any to film one. I'm going to start by using the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lock Mattifying Primer. I recently started using this um, as my mattifying primer. I finished up the Huda Beauty one that I was using and I actually do like this. Again, it's not as good as my Makeup Forever one, but that's fine. It will do. But it is a good, like, affordable, I guess, primer. Although it's still like $20, which isn't that cheap. And I will also use the e.l.f. Blemish Fighting Putty Primer. Typically I use like a good, a generous amount of that. And it always <laughs> feels like I'm putting guacamole on my face because it's thicker. And it's green. <laughs> I just think that's funny. For foundation, I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. I think this might honestly be, oops. I think I broke something in here. I think this is gonna be the last use I have of this foundation. It's basically done. In terms of updates, what do I have? I think I mentioned this in my shop, my stash for August, no? For July um, but I know that not everyone watches my shop my stashes so and not everyone watches my get ready with me's either anyway <laughs> I've announced it at least thus far in two videos I finally have a job it's a customer service job so it's not in my field necessarily of work but it is a job that will pay me so I am very happy about that um, it's definitely not ideal, but I did just have an interview this morning for a job in a greenhouse, and I'm really, really hoping. I think it went well. I mean, they basically said that they were hiring me, but you never know until they actually hire you. <laughs> um, but it seemed like it went really well and he was basically like, I'll reach out to HR and you'll hear back um, this coming week. And that for me is going to be so, I'm honestly so happy about it because it's, well, number one, pay, will pay me more, which is always a bonus. Um, and it's better hours as well. It's seven to three. So... 7 to 3.30, which for me is great um, because I wake up early anyway and then being done work at 3 will then give me time to come home and do any like social media like YouTube, Instagram stuff and like film. So that is just amazing to me. I'm really, really happy about that. I'm just going to do my brows now. I just sprayed some soap. And I'm just running the soap through my brows. But, yeah, it's also just work I will enjoy, you know, working with plants. And I just already can tell that I will enjoy it more than working with customer, the customer service line for a call center kind of thing. Um, which I was warming up to the idea of doing. We just had my first week of training and I was like, okay, you know, this is it. But then this greenhouse contacted me for like regarding the application that I had sent in a while ago. And if they end up offering me the job, I will be very happy. And it's something that I can see myself doing um, for like a longer period of time having less of a problem doing it for a longer period of time while I look for, you know, something that's maybe a little bit more long-term for me, but yeah, I'm just happy. I'm really happy about it. And already, like, I can feel, even just this past week of working, I can feel myself, just my, 
mental health is getting better. My just general mood is better. It's just getting better all around. I'm like feeling happy again. I'm feeling like I'm looking forward to stuff. And I mean, if part of that is doing work, but also it's just the fact that I know I'm going to have a paycheck again is just so nice. And very reassuring. <laughs> So, yeah, that's the update on that. I'm just putting some concealer in my inner corners while I wait for my soap, the soap to set a little bit. This is the Maybelline Super Stay Active Wear Concealer, which I've been honestly loving. I talked about this in my recent favorites video that I posted. It's really really great and then I'm gonna put some lip oil on my lips this is the merit lip oil this is just the clear one you guys it's finally happened I finally finished the Florence by Mills lip oil we never thought the day would come but it's done and then I'm going to take some NYX brown tint pen and put my brows on I'm going to need to buy a new one at these soon. It is running low. Okay, so let's zoom in and do some eyeshadow. I'm actually going to use, where is it? The ColourPop, um, the Child palette. Is this what it's actually called? Yeah, the Child. Mandalorian. I don't know anything about it. I don't want, I've never watched this. Anyway, that's not important right now. I'm going to use the first shade Baby Face. The first shade that I'm going to use is the shade Baby Face, which is this lighter green and just run this through my crease but yeah it's tough out here honestly like I don't know I talked about this I think on my Instagram stories after a job interview that I had not to like literally just be the most depressing broken record in the entire world but whatever <laughs> um it's fine now because I have a form of income. Um, but basically, I've had like literally, I feel like an embarrassing amount of job interviews. I saw it, my girlfriend showed me a TikTok that was like, I don't even want to tell anyone the amount of job interviews that I've had because it's like an embarrassing number and I feel so seen by that. I like have gotten to the point where I just don't want to have job interviews anymore. Okay, my camera ran out of memory. So I needed to fix that. But anyway, now I'm going to take the shade of Floater Crib, <laughs> which is this darker green, and just run this through my crease. But I was saying before my camera really cut me off um, that I have just had so many job interviews, like just absolutely an embarrassing amount. And I'm trying to take it as a learning experience, you know? It would be better if they hired me, um, but it's still good to get job interviews, okay? I guess I can't really complain about that too much. Anyway, my point was, oh yeah, I'm kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place where I really don't have that much job experience f to like for people to really want to hire me for jobs. But then also I have like, I have my masters and I have had like, have had jobs. Um, so people don't want to hire me for like entry level positions because I don't know, they're just like, oh, we just want to let you know, like you won't have that level of like authority or like anything. I'm like, I know, I know what I'm applying for, but thank you. <laughs> anyway, so it's this whole, whole thing and I feel like it's, I just am lost at sea. I feel like I'll never be able to find a job. Anyway, but we're moving into positive thinking, okay? I really think if I get this new greenhouse job, I'm really going to be in a good mental space. I can already feel it. Um, I think it's gonna be really good. And definitely a plus that they're offering to pay me for, pay me more than The job that I have right now and also I don't have to deal with customers on the phone all day but you know it's freaking it's hard out here okay it's hard there's freaking a war still going on I mean there's 
war in also other parts of the world besides from Ukraine, but Ukraine, Russia invasion of Ukraine is still going on. Inflation, horrible. Salaries, not reflecting that. And it really feels like I didn't choose to be born and why am I experiencing a pandemic and inflation and an inevitable recession and it makes you want to just drink a bottle of wine every day. Um, so take care of yourselves, everyone, okay? Because it's really hard. <laughs> Life is hard. Now I'm actually going to take ColourPop Good Sport and I'm going to take the shade Trooper, or Trophies, rather, which is this like grungy deep green. I'm just deep in my crease with this. Nothing too crazy. Actually, this is going to be a very close match to my dress color. I also forgot just how much I missed having some sort of routine. Um, I feel like especially towards the end, like the longer I was unemployed, the less and less motivated I was to like have a set schedule and when all you're doing all day is just sending cover letters and resumes and then it's just like bad news, bad news, rejection, rejection, not hearing back and that's like all you're doing. Obviously I was doing like YouTube and stuff, but not in a way that made me... <laughs> able to pay my bills so it just gets so discouraging especially when that's all you're thinking about um and so I just like was slowly losing the motivation to have a routine and stuff but I really am a person that thrives on routine I am at my best when I have like a weekly routine um 100 percent I do not want spontaneity like I want my same routine um and so just being able to have that back and like be able to plan out my week, even if it's also, I feel like makes me more productive in terms of, and more efficient in terms of like YouTube stuff, even. Like I feel like I'm, I can be more on schedule when I have, even if I'm busier, when I just have like a more set routine, I can plan better and it's just so much, so much better for me. Obviously not everyone's that way, but this is, it's really the way that I love to live my life. So it's been so nice, especially just being able to like get up before work. It's been five days of this again, but get up before work, do my makeup or film, which usually also involves doing my makeup, but um, it's just been very nice. to take that time. So mentally, we finally reached a point where I am doing better, which I thought that, you know, would take a lot longer than it has. So finally, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel, at least for the next little while. So I'm very happy about that. I'm going to take Sipping Soup and Right Hand Mando. I, yeah, really don't. The references are really going above my head here. But I don't have any really desire to understand them, so. <laughs> anyway, yeah, maybe I won't be so annoying and complaining all the time. But also I feel like it's just kind of being like, um... Sometimes life isn't the best, maybe for months at a time, and I don't think that's necessarily like a very crazy idea. Like I think it's, I think even if you have a job, even if you're not unemployed, like maybe you hate your job or whatever, or just maybe you're just feeling shitty mentally, you know? I think a lot of people go through that. I think it's, I don't know. I never really, when people are just being honest about shit like that, I never really see it as complaining. I'm just, I appreciate it because it's obviously relatable to me. Um, but sometimes it does feel like I just come online and I'm just like, wow, <laughs> I'm not doing well. But 
you know, it is what it is. Okay, taking sipping soup. But not in the center. And I haven't really had any negative feedback, honestly, from anyone being like, oh my god, you're so negative. Which, honestly, I'm negative in general as a person. <laughs> it's not. Oh my god, my camera really can't hang today. I just keep shutting off. And now I'm taking right hand Mando. Which is that greeny, silvery shade. Oh, that's so pretty. But honestly, I'm negative as a person, and well, I've been trying to work on it, but I'm not a live, laugh, love type of bitch in the first place, so. But, whatever. At least I can just, like, have, have some good times. And I'm finally being able to look forward to stuff now. <sighs> Unfortunately, sometimes doing fun things in life costs money and that also gets you down when you want to do stuff but your bank account does not reflect your ability to do said thing. Okay, I think I'm not, that's where I'm going to just leave it for the eyes for now. Let's zoom a little bit back out and do the rest of my face. Oh, the other thing, we went to Haley Kiyoko this past week and it was amazing and everything I could have ever dreamed, especially, I still wasn't feeling, you know, amazing. I think we went on Tuesday, so it was like second day of the, jo of the job and um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, it was just everything I, I wanted when she got on stage. And we, I, we were, like, watching a concert. You know, when you just get, like, such an overwhelming wave of happiness and then you just feel like you want to cry, that's exactly what I experienced. I just was near tears. I was just so happy. And then um, she's just so much better live than I feel like she is recorded or at least, like, on her album. So it was just phenomenal. Um, and... It's funny because my girlfriend is obsessed with her, like, Haley Kiyoko's girlfriend's podcast. So, she just likes, there's, like, an extra layer of her weirdly liking Haley Kiyoko. Anyway, um, and, yeah, I feel like I have a deep connection <laughs> to Haley Kiyoko and her music because, I don't know, I feel like I've related to her music when it came out, like, I feel like we were, like, weirdly in different stages, or, like, similar, rather, stages of life, um, when her music was, like, coming out, and I just have never related more to an album in my life than when her Expectations album came out, because I've been following her since she, like, released, like, Girls Like Girls forever, basically since she's been releasing music, and I felt so seen, and it was such a powerful feeling to just feel, like, finally represented or feeling like you can identify with, like, a piece of music. I don't know. It was just very deep for me, so seeing her live after I've wanted to for so long and like her music means a lot to me in a way that I never would have expected to like legitimately relate to music before um I don't know it was just really really special she was actually opening for Lauf which I had heard like a couple songs of his and I honestly was like okay hey, like let's just get through you know this concert but um he was amazing live and I would never have expected to enjoy it and honestly I tried listening to his music after we went and it, it's just not the same he's really really honestly sounds like an, a different artist live like super good and just his like aesthetics of like the lights and like his show it was so so great. I feel like I really pay attention to color in a lot of different aspects of life just because of like being so into makeup and stuff 
and the, his like color combos for his lights and the imagery that he had in a show was honestly so inspiring to me. I was like, damn. I feel like I want to make makeup palettes, like eyeshadow palettes with color stories based on his like lighting and like imagery. It was really inspiring. So it was just a great time. I, you know, it's been so long since we've been able to consistently go to like shows and live music and stuff. And I, I just forgot how much I love it. When I was in high school, my friends and I would go to a lot of concerts and I've we haven't, and I just forgot how much I just thoroughly enjoy it. It's such a good vibe. Everyone's there and just having a great time usually, especially in Montreal. I feel like we usually have pretty good like crowds at concerts and it just is such a honestly heartwarming experience. I feel like every time we go. to a live music show. By the way, I'm using the Fenty Matchstick in Amber to contour. For cream bronzer, I'm gonna use this Merit Perfecting Complexion Stick. This is in the shade Khaki. Um, this was sent to me from Merit. I think they actually re-released this product. I think it's supposed to be the same, but containing more actual product in each component. I'm not entirely sure. I'm almost done this. I don't love this shade in particular, but I have enjoyed the formula of this as a cream bronzer. Although they are releasing new cream bronzers, which is interesting. Will I buy it? Maybe in the future, not right now. But they look super glossy, like aggressively glossy particularly in their promo pictures. I don't know. So that makes me a little bit wary of them. Okay, my camera cut off. But anyway, now for cream blush, I'm going to use the Fenty, technically what is this called? Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blush in Rose Latte. Have I used this on camera? Not sure. I'm going to use this with a little Actually, not a little, quite big brush, but I'm just gonna stipple it on. This is my favorite blush for pairing with greens. Recently, I love it. We're gonna go to Elvis, I think, with Austin Butler tonight. We have like, my girlfriend has some promo or something, like a discount for tickets, so we're gonna go. That's another thing I forgot. How honestly fun it is to go to the movies. We saw, what did we see recently? Nope, which was so good. Oh my God. Um, not what I was expecting, but I just love Jordan Peele. So honestly, everyone in that movie was 10 on 10 and I would really recommend it. Even if you don't like horror movies, it's not really horror to me. Didn't really feel that scary, but anyway, we saw that recently and I just, honestly, another thing I forgot about how much I love doing is the movies. It's really fun. Even movies that I don't want to see, I feel like I always in end up enjoying the experience. So I think we're going to go to that tonight. And everyone's been raving about it. But I don't know if that's just because the movie's good or because everyone loves Austin Butler as Elvis. Not sure. But I'm getting excited for Halloween and spooky season as well. I'm like ready this year. I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure to go to HomeSense early because I feel like last year I missed the window for getting Halloween decorations. And I'm going to decorate, I'm going to be prepared and on point in the entire month of October is going to be spooky in this house. 
I'm banned to October because I personally ban Christmas festivities until like very end of November. So my girlfriend says that I can't celebrate Halloween until the beginning of October, which is mean, but that's the way it is. Did I really zoom out? I think I did. Sorry that it, everything's all over the place. My camera is just not the best camera in the world. But look at this blush. Isn't this the most beautiful blush you've ever seen in your entire life? I'm going to just set my face down. I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder as always. Put that in my T-zone. This is the same every time, so I won't spend too much time on this. I'm going to take some of my hourglass powder, brush this away, then I'm going to take my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, powder my face, go back in with my hourglass powder. Okay, let's see, what bronzer am I going to use? I've been back to using just all of my bronzers before I start to focus on using another one up, so let's use gonna use the Essence Pure Nude Sunlighter. I use this as a bronzer. I'm not entirely sure which one I'm gonna decide to use up. I have a NYX one that I think I'm gonna use. But before I have another focus one, I just want to kind of go through my collection and revisit the ones that I haven't used. In a while. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Soothing Aloe Mist because I don't really have to use my mattifying one today. It's already 2 46 p.m. For highlight I'm gonna use this new highlight to me. This is the Rimmel Highlight <laughs> in the shade Stardust. I bought this because it was on sale. Okay, because I think this is going to be the most beautiful blush combo in the world, I'm going to take the NARS Exposed Cheek Palette and take the shade um, Give It Away. This brownie shade. I think this is going to be the perfect shade to pair with this Fenty one. It's basically, honestly, like the same color as it. Just in powder form. All right, now I'm just going to finish up my lower lash line. I'm going to take the shade Float Your Crib. And just put this underneath my eyes. All right, then take in Trophies, putting that underneath. And then blend it out with the shade Baby Face. Maybe I'll take the shade The Force, this greeny gold here. Just put this underneath my eyes, right on the inner part of my lower lash line. And then I'll take Precious Cargo and put that on my inner corners. My camera is flashing at me again. Also put a little bit of that on my brow bone. Neither of these palettes have a black, so I'm going to take the my Pat, Bo Pat, Me Pat McGrath my black eyeshadow and dark matter just to deepen out my inner corners then to finish off I'm gonna take my Maybelline brow fast sculpt mascara gel run that through my brows and as my final step freck. okay and this concludes this video on my lips I have the NYX lip liner um, espresso which is somewhere in this little thing, but it's just a brown lip liner, and the Wet n Wild Matte Lipstick in Mochalicious. I love this look. Oh, I also have the e.l.f. Satin Eyeliner Pencil in the shade, I think it's like olive or green is like the name of it or something like that. It doesn't actually have it on the like actual pencil which is weird but I totally forgot I even had this so yeah I used it today um this eye look hasn't been done before by myself probably absolutely but I don't know I enjoy it I feel like it captures the essence of the palette in a way 
Um, I didn't obviously incorporate like either of these browns, but I don't know. I, then I feel like this brown kind of matches my lips, so you know, that's that's the look. But I really enjoy it. Happy to catch up with everyone, give a little update. And sadly, apparently, Elvis is not playing in theaters anymore. Um, so we will not be doing that tonight. But that's that's okay. Then that, that actually gives me time to wash my brushes because I desperately have to do that. Thank you so much for watching this video of mine. I upload three videos a week. If you want to stick around, I always appreciate it. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.